Hello everyone. Today I'm going to introduce an Astra brand new motherboard, the P45XE. Before we do the performance comparison test, let's check out the specification first. The Astra P45XE is based on Intel P45 and ICH10 chipsets. This motherboard supports from Cerberus 2000. So for the memory part, it support DDR2 1200 for 4 slots. And the VGA part can support ATI Crossfire function. Also, this motherboard also supports some other features like Smart BIOS and SRAC OC Tuner, Intelligent Energy Saver, that's what we call IES, and some unique features like extra ESD protection and SRAC Dura Cap. But this feature we will introduce you later. Okay, let's check out the first unique feature. We call that DuraCap. Okay, let's see here. These are the capacitors for the V core. All of them are the selective Japan made long life capacitors. You can see we have found a 5K mark on the, on the capacitors. Okay, let's make it more clear. For the DuraCap, all of them are selective Japan made long life capacitors. You can see here, there's a 5K mark on the capacitors. In short, for the SROC, we, we use this kind of capacitors, which is 2.5 times lifetime compared to others. Okay, let's check out the next unique feature the extra ESD protection. The extra ESD protection is a hardware design to prevent the user's operation cause the ESD damage on the motherboard. The extra ESD protection gives extra anti-static protection of I.O. panel, connectors, and other components on your motherboard. When we plug in some USB devices or some audio jacks on the I.O. panel, sometimes it may cause the ESD damage on the motherboard. For the extra ESD protection, it mainly protects this kind of damage from the ESD. Here you can see the main page from P45XC BIOS screen. On the upside, you can find there's a small icon called Smart. Okay, let's see more detail. The function of Smart BIOS is to make things easy for you by providing some default BIOS settings. Users may just select the BIOS mode that is more suitable to them. Okay, here are some setup defaults in the Smart page, which we will explain to you later. Okay, let's see the first option, the Load BIOS Defaults. The default BIOS settings of the system, you may have the original defaults by selecting this mode. Okay, the second one is Load Performance Setup Default, IDE SATA. The function will automatically adjust the system's parameters to the best performance settings with IDE SATA mode. The next one is Load Performance Setup AHCI mode. Enable this function, your system will be boosted with performance files with AHCI mode. The last one is Load Power Saving Setup Default. To save the power and energy, and save your money at the same time, you may simply select this mode. The settings will set your system to the most energy saving status. The last special feature we want to show you is IES Intelligent Energy Saver. The P45XE also supports the IES feature. As we can see now, the IES is off, so you can see now the power phase is full phase right now. When you turn the IES on, we can see that the power phase is switched from full phase to one phase. It could save power and also save money. Now the IES is on and uh, we can find that the CPU power phase is one phase right now and the CPU power is 5.1 watt now. Okay, let's start running the CPU loading program. Okay, we can find that the phase switched from one phase to two phase and then to the full phase and the CPU power also changed to 32.9 watts. OK, 
okay, it means the system is running with a full loading. Okay. Now when we stop running the program, you can see the CPU power drop to 5.7 watts and then the power phase also switch back to one phase only. So it proves again that the IES can really save the CPU power and also the system power and also save your money.